Good afternoon, one and all. Welcome to Pantech e-learning. So today we are going to see about a webinar on back big data and this webinar is sponsored by Anamacharya Institute of Technology and Science, Hyderabad and Department of Computer Science Engineering. So before we enter into this webinar, I like to introduce myself. My name is Kamalesh and I am from Panta Key Learning. So today I will teach you how the big data is working on 2020s. Okay. So I like to give special thanks to Department of Computer Science and Engineering and faculty members and principals and HODs of the respected Computer Science Engineering Department. So thank you for this wonderful opportunity and webinar on big data okay so thank you all and thank you for today's session for all attending and if you are new to this channel please subscribe the channel and hit a bell icon and you will be get a notification each and every time whenever we are posting a new videos or whenever we are came to for live so let me enter into the session the session is all about big data so in name itself we have big data right in name itself we have a suggestion about big data so big data is nothing but we have a data with large amount okay so we have a data that stored in large amount so within that big data we need to take some particular data means generally they will call us a mining and if you want to compute those big data means we need some efficient tools okay so based upon that efficient tools only we will know how we will do some activities like pre-processing or processing the data from one place to another place or data wrangling or data cleaning okay so like that we need to use some those process okay so here today's session we are going to see about what is the tools okay which what are the tools we are going to use on use it for big data and what is the main advantage and what is the disadvantage of the big of the tool like that we are going to see in today's webinar and here you can see this is the introduction of Pantech solution so our main profile okay origin from 2004 seven branches 100 plus employees 1200 plus workshops we conducted for students and both faculties also and our main portfolio like research and development for industries project faculty development programs hands-on training workshops internships and implant training short term course value added course academic project training and customized design service and straight for r d so this is the area we are covering and we are having more than 100 plus employees and we are daily giving some training and internships oriented things and then developing a projects day by day we are training and not only this area we are covering we are covering both ECE and triple domains and CSE and IT domains that is the academic projects so academic projects we are uh, offering like in ECE and triple domain we are offering like a IOT internet of things and artificial intelligence embedded system and robotics blsi fpga and tms process and image processing and open cv network simulation wired or wireless and power electronics and electric vehicles so these are the things we are going to offering for ec and triple domains not only for btech students like arts and science also and we are providing a project for CSE and IT domains also it's fully software oriented so like big data data analytics internet of things python android kotlin android application development big data data mining and text mining cloud computing mobile computing machine learning deep learning and artificial intelligence 
so this is the area we are covering for csc and it domains okay so the with this both the technology that is what are the technology here i showed the all the technology related videos daily we are taking as a live webinar so if you are subscribe the channel definitely you will be get a knowledge about this those domains not only in this domains we will post some other different type of domains knowledge also okay so if you are new to this channel please subscribe the channel and hit a bell icon and if you like this video please click a like button so here let me come to the comment to the webinar so what are the table of contents we are going to see in this today's webinar so first of all introduction to big data problems so what are the problems we are facing in big data so definitely we will uh, we will have some problem right so generally if you have a small amount of data for that small amount of data if you are sharing or manipulating some uh, rows or columns means it will take some time right so here we need to work on some big data so that is big amount of data so how we will work so that is the that is the thing we are going to see on next topic that is what is apache spark then after we have seen apache spark then introduction to spark then applications and libraries of spark and what is data science and platform interface and pyspark application and partition how to set up the run apache spark so this is the thing we are going to take in today's webinar that is table of contents and first we will enter into the introduction of the big data problem so here you have an like why we are using big data and how we are using big data and what you are using big data so this is the simple thing and here you can go to the next slide the next slide is is all about volume that is category categorized of three v's okay so three v's is nothing but volume velocity and variety so if you generally take any data the volume of the data is higher that is size of the data is higher and amount of data also higher and quantity of data so this is volume velocity is nothing but if you are doing some process with those data set how much time it's taking how much time it's taking for those complete those task that is called speed of data and variety the types of data to be stored or processed that is we can save the different type of data like structured data or unstructured data or data frame type a series type okay like that we can save the variety of data and stored and process the data so this is totally three v's that is big data characteristics and big data problems here you can see why we need some efficient software to handle that big data means why because nowadays the computer application and hardware are growing within time that is we we have like core i5 10th generation or core i10 so in last year we will uh, use core i5 that is intel processor core i5 8th gen or 9th gen now in this uh, century we are in this year we are using 10th gen like that we will growing the hardware and not only hardware in software side side also we are going some huge very okay so that is huge uh, things we are changing so at the time the big data pro big data pro problem is occurring okay so each a new processor are able to perform the operation faster and then application to run as a faster means we need some efficient software so using those software only we need to do some do those process okay so that's why uh, we are using the apache spark okay so apache spark is one of the application uh, used to manipulate the all the data okay so so first of all you need to know what is apache spark right so apache spark is nothing but uh, it's a big data solution uh, that can like provide the easier and faster than the hadoop map reduce okay that is easier and faster than the hadoop map reduce means like generally in previously with 
in previous that is in, as a existing existing system we are used as a hadoop map producing ma technique for big data purpose but now the spark is a open source and software developed by uh, uc berkeley rat lab in 2009 since it was released on 2010 only but nowadays we are using this apache spark only okay and uh, the industry is with the, that is this is developed by using scala language and here this is the apache spark is one of the uh, promising technique used for big data analytics and it will be a, like a most that is compared to the hadoop map produce the apache spark is one of the most fastest one so that's why we are using the apache spark okay and here we will move on to the next slide so here there is a comparison of why we are using apache spark and here we can see improving the efficiency that is comparing to the last hadoop technology apache hadoop technology the memory data sharing and general computer gra computation graphs will be 100 times faster that is if you are giving any task it will be give, it will be uh, give the result within 100 times faster when we compare to hadoop technology and improving the usability through like rich apis in java or scala or python okay that is we will if we are using java scala python like those type of code means definitely we will reduce the code lines also okay so the main difference between spark and map producing is the spark run the computation in the memory during later on the hard disk okay that is spark will be uh, computation compute the memory during the later on the hard disk it allows the high speed access and data processing reducing the time for an hour to minute that is even if it is an for for hadoop apache hadoop if it take to complete the task even hour means so apache spark will be complete the task within minute so that is the use of apache spark okay and before we entering into those what is py spark that is important right so py spark is the name that engine to realize the cluster computing while pyspark is the python library to use the spark okay so pyspark is nothing but it's a library package only so if you want to compute those cluster computer computing engine engine in the spark system means you need to use those pyspark library package that's available in python okay so using that package you can improve you can develop your apache pyspark tool but here you can see some of the tools what are the areas we can cover apache spy using apache spy pi spark okay so first tool is structured data okay it will be used for if you have unstructured data you can structureize the data using the spark sql structured data library package and here it will be used for mapping streaming okay streaming the real time videos or any other data things so that is the use of spark streaming real time and here we have a ml library that is we can use even machine learning also techniques also using this pyspark and then here we have we can plot or visualize the graphs based upon our data okay so we can visualize the graph based on the graph x okay so this are the area we can cover by using an apache spark and here we have a spark core okay spark core is nothing but it's the core library package and using that package only we are going to run those libraries in, libraries okay and here we have a full ecosystem from storage to programming okay so we will know if generally if you take normal uh, java or python means we will use some library packages and those library packages will use some engine okay so those engine for commonly they are called as a spark core engine and we will use those data to uh, manage somewhere okay so like uh, most of the person will be known nowadays kubernetes okay so kubernetes is one of the technique 
it will be manage the n number of clusters okay so using that uh, if you have n number of clusters within the cluster we are running some application means uh, each and every every time the application wanna run okay so if any application is damaged means what it will be happen the task that is completion of the task is will be uh, not complete right so we will use like kubernetes type of techniques and we will uh, we will achieve the task okay so that is the use of that one so like that we have yarn or mesos and spark like that and then we have storage purpose like our local fs and hdfs amazon s3 and rdms sql and then no sql okay so this are the low, this are the some of the things we are going to work on the things okay so this is the overall library framework that is programming library engine management and storage like the, those things and all okay so here we have a community level comparison like we will compare those things with the strom hdfs yarn and map producing technique with spark that is past year and then line of code changed also almost you can see here in the right side of the graph it changed so now we will comes to the introduction to spark so why we are we need to use those spark and why a new programming model we need for spark okay so before we going to this one uh, you need to know how the spark is working okay so spark is nothing but it's based upon the computational engine so spark is based on computational engine only and meaning it takes care of the scheduling or distributing or monitoring the application that is it's a spark is nothing but if you are giving any task so it will be take care of the scheduling the task and distributing the task and monitoring the application how it's working so each task is done across the various worker machine and called as a computational cluster computing cluster okay so each task will be work based upon the clusters that is called computational clusters and computational clusters refers the division of task that is computational cluster only having the uh, some reference of the each task okay so using that task we will contribute the final output in different task and then at the end we will aggregate into a one output so that is called overall spark working okay that is the thing we are going to work on the spark community and here you have users quickly wanted to mother is it will be more complex than multiple pass and that is we will use machine learning or graph uh, ml visualization process we will use both the thing means it is a complex one and it's a interactive one because it's a ad hoc and then real time streaming processor it will be used okay so here it's one of the oldest technique data sharing in map produce we will compare now we will see how the map producing technique will be work and how the apache spark will be work okay so here map producing technique here you can see we have a one input the very input is nothing but welcome to hadoop and class hadoop is good hadoop is bad okay so this is the input of my simple input okay so for this input how the map producing technique will be work we'll see okay so here we have a input split okay welcome to hadoop and then class hadoop is and then good hadoop is bad so how it's splitting the input means based upon the line so first line and then second line and then third line and last one so based upon the input split data it will it's mapping the next step is mapping mapping is nothing but here we have uh, welcome to hadoop right so welcome to hadoop means like welcome will be a uh, one time repeating in the particular split and then two will be repeated for one time and hadoop will be repeated for one time so based upon the in splitting how much time it's dividing the word so it will be mapping the each class hadoop is and 
good Hadoopis and bad Hadoopis. So like that it will be match the each data then automatically it will shuffle the data. So shuffling the data is nothing but based upon the matching it will be divide the data. That is here you can see bad is repeated for only one time. So it's automatically enter into the first and class is repeated for only one time and automatically shuffled and then G is repeated for only one time. So it's shuffled then Hadoop. So Hadoop ha we have Hadoop word in first mapping and in second mapping and third mapping. So here we will have same Hadoop word with three time repeating. So that is called shuffling okay so like that it will be shuffled the data then based upon the shuffled data i would be reduce all my data with the count okay so for example bad will be repeated for only one time so i take an as usual same and class will be repeated for only one time i take an class and then good one time but hadoop here totally three times so i take it as a hadoop comma three and this will be repeated for two times is comma two. So using this, I am reducing the output that is called map reducing technique. I am reducing the output as a final bad class is to welcome. Okay, so this is the thing, it's, this is called as a map reducing technique. It's a previous technique which we used in tool and now we are using this technique for sharing the data okay so if you using apache spark we need to use rdd that is recline client data okay so here i am having one list okay from 1 to 100 we have a list those list will be saved in a like stack that is from some some points okay not on randomly saving as a one two three four five six seven eight 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 list it stored that is eight rdd is stored then after that automatically all the in in spark we have totally master node and we have worker node okay so first it will be sent to the master node the master node will be allocate the some task result and then that is by worker uh, to the worker the master will be allocate the some task then automatically it will be do the task and save it in the one physical memory so that is the use of data sharing in rdt so here if i as apply the data sharing technique uh, like the iteration wise it's increasing that is it's a faster than network on disk usages okay so 10 time uh, 10 into 100 time 110 to 100 time faster than network on disk sharing okay so that is the thing of using apache spark now spark model okay so spark model we already discussed how rd is working that is uh, resilient distributed data set how it's working we already discussed so here Again, we have it's a collection of objects that can be stored in the memory or disk across the cluster. That is, we will collect the data from the memory and it's stored from the different different disk. Okay, so this is RDD. Then build by parallel transformation. That is using map and filtering technique. We will do some parallel transformation and automatically rebuild the failure. That is, each and every time if that in rdd in rdd each and every time if you are doing any task that all the task metadata will be saved in somewhere okay so if this happen anything with that current task so automatically it will be uh, take failure means it will be automatically rectify using the metadata so that is the one of the most promising technique in rdd okay and here for example if you want to do log analysis what we need to do in PySpark. Okay, so first we need to yeah, take a log. Log is nothing but it's a data. So the data will have some rows and columns, right? So data will have some rows and columns, and somewhere we will have an empty row that is null value, and somewhere we don't have any null values. So, like that, we need to do some process that is process called the data cleaning. 
case that we, we need to delete some unwanted columns or rows or null values using this second step after that converting into the structured form that is log file always in the form of unstructured manner okay like it will be combination of html file or it will be combination of object file or hierarchy file okay so if you are taking any data from the online website means it will be in the form of html tag so we need to convert those html tag or any unwanted data into and data frame so generally if you have a rows and columns that will be called as a data frame and using the data frame we are analyzing the data okay so we are analyzing the data means that is we are relative uh, we are analyzing the data what is the information of that data okay so after opening uh, after we are analyzing the data we will be get a result which area we need to focus so this is the simple log analysis and if you during those process that is during the log analysis process if you have any fault tolerance automatically rdd will be transform the data that is copy the data from the already copied data okay so that is the most important it's a fault tolerance already is a fault tolerance but in map produce, that is in map producing technique we don't have that one okay so that is one of the thing here you can see if i compile the logistic regression algorithm okay so it's a com if i compile the logistic regression algorithm what it will be happen in hadoop system and spark system okay so here y axis will be a running time and x axis will be a number of iteration okay so for first iteration hadoop showing a better accuracy result when compared to that is better running time when we compared to spark but for next number of iteration okay so hadoop will be increase the iteration is, hadoop sorry uh, hadoop will be increase the running time that is nearly 700 or 800 time second and compared to our spark it will be increased okay so like if we are increasing the iteration the data output that is running time running execution process and giving result will be take some time it's more than for 13 iteration we are taking a more than 30 seconds okay so that is one of the most disadvantage of hadoop technology so that's why we came to use the spark one okay and here we have this performance how it's performing for 100 tb okay that is time to sort by 100 tb that is if you have a 2100 machines okay so if you wanna execute those 2100 machine clusters it takes 72 minutes to complete those tasks okay but if you 2014 if you take a to spark technology for 2000 machine machine we need for computing the 100 tb and it will be give the replay within 23 minutes that is if you are computing the 100 tb of data in hadoop Hadoop record okay so we need 2100 machines and 72 minutes but if you want to compute 100 db in PySpark 2007 machine 200, sorry 207 machine and 23 minutes okay so this is what if we, we are try, when you are ready to using a Spark technology the machines also reducing and computation speed also reducing okay so that is the disk performance and what are the operators supported operators used for uh, big data okay so like map filter operators union join and then uh, left out join or right out of join like that we are we are having some supported operators operator is important for any type of languages okay and here we have communities what are the communities it's partnered okay so over 500 production users are there uh, in PySpark community and more than 8000 nodes are processing that is per day we are producing a 1 pb and single job over 1 pb okay so this is the user community like cisco oracle or netflix and databricks 
with cat so these are the some of the user community and what are the applications and libraries okay so here application what is the main application of the PySpark means it will be support the languages like python scala java and r okay so these are the four main language and topmost language it's supporting that is one of the most important one and one of the most uh, useful one right and it's supported for sql task that is if when you are computing any data with the sql queries also it will be support and it have a separate enabling streaming that is we can even stream also and it can be run in a single machine or in a cluster of computers okay we can create an one cluster within single nodes or multiple nodes okay so and here we have general libraries and spark ecosystem so we already seen about uh, the libraries like for frames that's sorry data frames streaming ml library and graphics and all so we can we will access this all the four library package within one single core language that is either it should be an r or sql or python scala or java okay so r about r one of the most important language for data analytics uh, so one of the r is the one of the most important language and here you can see for sql okay how we can you can read the sql type of by using an sql command how you can read the your twitter json file okay so this is the way you can read the twitter json file and here how the spark streaming is used for twitter stream okay so here we have a rdd n number of time we have a rdd and each rdd if it is a over time we will be move on to it will be more, create a new one and it will be started to stream okay so using twitter stream function and here how we will apply for ml algorithm so if you want to use any k means algorithm or knn algorithm or random forest navy bias or svm or decision tree like that whatever you need algorithm you just import the algorithm from the model and then you can execute the code okay so that is that we can apply for machine learning library phase like this also and we have graph x okay graph x is nothing but uh, we can plot the graph based upon the plot uh, data okay so we can plot the graph based upon the data like uh, any type so that is the one of the graph x and here performance and specialized engine that is for sql how the spark is working for streaming purpose how the spark is working for machine learning how the spark is working okay for sql you can see we are comparing a spark with spark meme and impala meme and impala disk and hive okay that is x axis will be a response time and y axis will be an sql so if i use spark disk how it's responding that time and we compare to the any other framework and here we have a streaming for streaming purpose we have only two framework one is spark as it is default and then strong so it's another one new one so here the comparison between how it's sending the each second bit rates that is bit of frames how it's sending and how it's uh, producing the comp nice videos that is streaming and then ml libraries so ml libraries we can use even scikit-learn package also but here they are using like uh, mahat and then grab lab and then spark okay so compared to all these two or three we are uh, the spark is one of the most important one it's taking the response time very quickly okay so this is a performance and specialized engine and here we are having a combining process type also that is you can combine the process like different type of phase like using pipeline method so i will tell you about how it's working pipeline method and here we have totally combining process type is two type 
one is separating an engine another one is spark okay there is separate engine is nothing but when you are using without spark what you will be do then if you are using a spark what you will be do okay so when i want to plot any uh, pictures or videos or any graphs means we need to uh, first prepare the data set after preparing the data set you need to train the ml algorithm after training the ml algorithm you need to apply the model okay then only you will be get a result okay so that is one of the technique we done it on older days until now also but here you can take spark spark is totally different okay so the all the prepare train and apply so both are combined into a single engine and then we will find the output result of python or any other programming language okay so that is the use of combining process type then data science so now we will see about how the data science and platform interface are working so first we will see about data science and the next we will see about platform interface so data science is nothing but uh, it's uh, one of the technique used to get some va valuable information and get some prediction result or get an some continuous type of values by using the some different type of formulas okay so that is the use of data science so here how the data science will be worked for data frame type so i already told you about data frame so data frame is nothing but what is the frame generally frame is nothing but it's a rows and columns right frame like photo frame anything okay so like same thing only our data frame also will be here with n number of rows and columns so that is called data frame here data processing of the uh, data science technique that is like r and python is increasing day by day okay why it's increasing day by day means because of google only google only trends the data frame so now it's increasing the uses and the spark data frame that is how you can compare the data frames for python and scala and data frame so here at the comparison result itself we comes to know how the python will be used for mostly when compared to scala or data frame technology okay so py spark community and machine learning pipeline so machine learning pi pipeline is one of the um, one of the easiest technique and one of the shortest technique you can apply easily for example you can, here you can see we have a data frame so this data frame i need to train one model that is any model not any algorithm if i want to train any algorithm means i need to do those process that is first process is tokenizer and the next process is uh, converting the words into an uh, frequency that is tfid and then after that linear regression that is our linear regression or logistic regression okay so if you need these two process in in machine learning means generally it takes so much time so that's why we they introduced it into the one of the technology it's called as a uh, pipeline okay so the pipeline is used to uh, pipeline is used for minimizing the words like for example you can see first i need to tokenizing and after that i need to vectorization and after that i need to train the model right so here we have totally one and then two and then three we have totally three steps right so here i am doing three steps separate that is saving all my data frame uh, sorry all my tokenized value and uh, data frame value and logistic regression value in one variable then i am just using the pipeline technique then i passed all the technique within the list okay then it automatically give the result how it's working so that is the use of machine learning pipeline and this is the one of the thing we are using a spark interface exposing the data from pipeline after we are use spark interfaces and then platform interfaces so platform interfaces is nothing but uh, we already seen about this right so using spark, spark core we will use like cassandra or habasi or hive or paraqt or postgre sql and json or mysql or elastic search so elastic search means is nothing but uh, 
uh, what we are doing in PySpark, we are doing in PySpark like we have a big data, right? So you need to take some data. We need to do some process or preprocess from the data means we need to use PySpark. But Elasticsearch is totally different. So it will be search. If anything you search by using Elasticsearch, it will be searched by an index value. Okay, for example, uh, if it is the index value of what you are searching, that will be in 10th index value means it will be give the reply easily. It's like a search engine only. But here they have some problem. Uh, the problem with the Elasticsearch means within uh, 100 to 1000 index value it will be find quickly and give the reply to the uh, engine but if it have more than 1000 under index value the problem with that searching is sometimes take some time to giving the output result okay so that is one of the drawback of elastic search and that is called elastic search elastic search also we can use in spot okay and next one how we will use the data set like data set we are using like csv file or aware or elastic search redshift those data set we can use even json file also and how we can work on spark community that is you can download our documents from available in apache spark itself that is official website itself they are giving some uh, documents and downloads you can use that one and if you want to try the the, try the Apache Spark community. You can use the data brick.com and you can try how it's working. Okay, so here we have PySpark application and partition. So, that is we already discussed about a partition of PySpark. That is, we have drive and processor, and we have executors, and we have clusters. Okay, so driver processor is nothing but when you are giving any task, it will be managed and given to the executor by which node you want to send to the send those data okay so that is the one of the important of driver process so here you can see the driver is located in the node of the cluster computer and perform three main tasks one is holding the information and another one is responding the input and next one is analyzing the distributes and schedules how the task is performed okay that is driver process and then we have executors so executor is one of the actual performer in the driver okay so it will be execute the code which you assign that is which you assign the task it will be automatically execute and then contribute that is cluster manager so cluster manager is controlling the physical computers which not want to execute the data exactly okay so that is the use of cluster manager then here we have a uh, setup installation tutorial for apache spark so whenever you need apache spark you need to enter into the website the website name is called as a, that is freely okay you can use databrick.com databrick community edition okay so you need to use databrick community edition for apply uh, for using the databrick free apache spark technique okay so here i enter into the apache spark technique it's asking the information you need to sign in the uh, databrick.com so if you are new user you can create a new account if you are a old user you can create and uh, just give your mail id and password okay so using this databrick web.com and if you are entering into the after the after login into the website you then community edition website it will be asked which type of things you need like data brick platform for free trade or community edition so community edition only we need important i we need why because in community edition only i will create a three cluster that is here it's a limited access only so we can create up to three clusters and we will connect with each other and do the process singly okay so that is the use of community edition so you can click the community edition after clicking the community edition you will be get into the gui that gui is called as a creating the nodes and creating the tables and creating a new notebook files and connecting the each clusters in your particular area okay so that is the use of data login data 
brick.com so okay so this is the thing we are going to see uh, if you want to do try machine learning with spark you need to do those process that is first basic operations in with par with pi spar and then data preprocessing and build the data preprocessing pipeline and build the classification train and evaluate the model okay so this is the area we need to cover by for using the machine learning with spar okay so up to this anybody have any doubt you may ask using the comment section i will be give the reply to you if you have any doubt means you may ask using our comment section i will be and we had only 10 likes to reach 100 so if you are like this video please click a like button it will be boost up for us and today's attendance links we send in our chat box and in our description also so if you are new to this channel you can check it out about the link and even more i posted again today session link you can use that link and register for today's attendance link you will be get a certificate for webinar on big data so those who are having doubt you can ask it using your comment section i will be reply you about your doubt and then if you are new to this channel please subscribe the channel and hit a bell icon you will be get a notification any doubt you may post it in our comment section i will be give the reply to you all not only related to big data anything related to computer science whatever you you have doubt you may ask Yeah, friends. Link I shared in your comment section. Okay, you can use that form link and then you can check it out. And we reached one not one likes. So thank you for all who are all attending this wonderful webinar and hit a like button. So going for big data certificate course. as a fresher which big data technology should be pick so if you are want to study big data certificate course you can use of course without any thinking you can use pyspark you can uh, select the pyspark course definitely it will be useful for you for your future purpose okay so pyspark is one of the popular technology in big data so definitely you can choose the course for big data certificate by spark so nowadays most of the companies also need by spark only okay so you can check it out Yeah, thank you. What is the cost of the certificate? Okay. Actually, we have uh, map producing technique based upon the Java uh, big data courses, and we are looking forward to uh, implement an. by spark big data technology actually it's a new one not a new one uh, it's a vast subject so we need uh, we will give you as soon as possible we will post to you definitely uh, about this 
courses and the certificate courses is free only okay so if you need you can join it it's not a problem and we have we are conducting iet python master class program that is one month industrial training program okay it's a master class program we will give five domains you can choose which domain you need and you can master off in it and if you need to register for that master program iet python master class program you can use that link and check it out and we are connecting vit workshop on iot using raspberry pi okay so if you are an interested using if you are wanna learn related to iot using raspberry pi you can register the link and we are conducting the pantech 10 days internship program also we are conducting pantech internship program 10 days so those who are need 10 days intensive program you can click that link and register for it so all our upcoming events only okay so like uh, iet embedded master class program for one month industrial training and vit workshop on iot using raspberry pi and pantech intensive program for 10 days so those who are need between in this three training programs those who are which one you need you can choose it and register for it and if you don't uh, need also you can just register for it we will uh, send you some other information about technologies it will be helpful for you definitely and any free intensive programs that we can do so yeah right now we are offering before some free intensive program but we now coordinate with iet so, uh, so if we if we conduct with pantech e-learning definitely we will call you uh, for free intensive program you can choose you can check it out so thank you for this wonderful webinar and attending also so those who are so if you need even more contact even more details about the upcoming events you can contact us on those three numbers you just take a screenshot and after that you can make a call it will be really helpful for you about training program or intensive program or webinar okay and thank you once again from Kamalesh S and if you need any doubt if you have any doubt you may contact me on hod.java and the red and if you need further more upcoming event information you may contact us on whatsapp and telegram so thank you all and if you are new to this channel please subscribe the channel and hit a bell icon and if you like this video please like and share thank you all have a nice day thanks for aits hyderabad for this opportunity thank you all